Well, the chairman sits here uh, at the apex. New Hampshire Senator Bob Smith beamed with pride as he took in the view here in the Environment and Public Works Committee room where he now presides. And then the Republicans are on this side and all the Democrats are on this side. This was the first tour he'd given to a reporter since his appointment to the chairmanship in November, following the unexpected death of the former chair, Senator John Chafee. Known as a friend to the environment, Chafee scored 70 percent with the League of Conservation voters. But Bob Smith's score was only half that. We've had our share of criticism from some environmental group, groups, quote unquote. But, you know, as I always say, um, watch what I do, give me a chance, and we'll see how it all turns out. It's been a tumultuous time for Senator Smith. Last year, he ran for president on the Republican ticket, attracting little notice even in his home state. Last July, after a fiery denunciation of the Republican Party for betraying its core values, he switched his allegiance and became an independent. Are you mad at Washington, D.C. and the system here? Mad? No, I'm not mad. Dogs are mad. People are angry. Are you angry? No. After some pressure was applied, Smith rejoined the Republican Party in early November. He'd backed out of the presidential race six days earlier. You can't change the mistakes. You try to learn from them. So if you make a mistake, learn from it and move on. Uh, I think I admitted that when I said I left the Republican Party. I said I left it on principle. I support back what I said. I, I meant what I said. I don't take back what I said about the criticisms. I think you, any great party should be able to sustain those criticisms. but. It was a mistake to leave. Bob Smith has a reputation for integrity. His supporters have apparently forgiven him for this latest misadventure and applaud his relentless pursuit of conservative causes. But his detractors at times find it hard to take Smith seriously. There was a reporter from the Portsmouth Herald many years ago who wrote uh, my all-time favorite quote about me. Uh, and he said, the roadside is littered with the remains of those who underestimate Bob Smith. Why is it that you think you're underestimated? Well, I don't think I am underestimated in most people's minds. I think I'm underestimated by the so-called pals, the political types. But I think that the ordinary voters don't underestimate me at all. I think they understand what I do. But there are always these political pundits who think they know everything. They talk about things, but they don't know Bob Smith, really. I can't help but think about the movie Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Do you see parallels between you and the Mr. Smith of that film? Yeah, I do. Uh, it was, uh, I uh, actually have a poster here of um, Jimmy Stewart. He signed a poster from that movie and sent it to me many years ago before he passed away. It's a movie that's been very inspirational to me. And it's very simply for this reason. Jimmy Stewart in that movie played Senator Jefferson Smith, who was an honest man. And he came to Washington as a good man to do good work because he believed that the people were good and deserved good representation. That's my philosophy summed up in a sentence. Bob Smith likes to stop and smell the roses in Washington. As a former history professor, he appreciates the paintings, reads the plaques on the walls, and steeps himself in the glory and awe of the place. He paused in the Capitol Rotunda. This um, dot right there is where uh, President Lincoln and President Kennedy lay in state right there. So you're a part of history right now. Despite the recent strains on his career, Bob Smith is planning to run for re-election to the Senate for a third term in 2002, for he says there's still much to be done. You know, I, I mean, I think it's a, it's a privilege to serve. I mean, I, I think you should look at it the way it's an honor and a privilege to serve. And I think that if you get caught up in the trappings of it, and don't understand why you're really here, um, then I think you, you're missing something. Bob Smith admits to feeling a twinge as the presidential race passes him by, but his future is an open book and he's refused to rule out another bid for the presidency. Never say never, he's been quoted as saying, sounds like the title of a James Bond film. And like James Bond, Bob Smith has a remarkable capacity for survival. Who knows, he may surprise us once more. For New Hampshire Roundtable, I'm Jenny Atiyah.